And welcome to the 2013 World Rally Championship, a new season in the company of the greatest drivers on the planet, taking on the toughest terrain the world can throw at them. Hold on tight for the ride of your life. It all starts with the most famous rally of all and one of the most demanding, Monte Carlo, featuring treacherous wintry conditions and sure enough fresh snow has arrived just in time to add to the challenge. Monte Carlo signals the beginning of a worldwide adventure that will see us travelling the globe through four continents, 13 different locations over 10 months. The opening event is split into two distinct parts. The first two days based in and around the Valence area, 400 kilometers north of Monte Carlo, before they then head south for some of the most difficult stages in the world. 468 competitive kilometers, 18 stages in all. A grueling start to the season. One man very much at home here, nine-time world champion Sebastian Loeb, master of Monte Carlo, but doing only a handful of rallies this season ahead of his retirement. So the WRC will have a new champion for the first time in a decade. But who? Citroen team leader Mikko Hervedan is hugely consistent. Four-time runner-up behind Loeb, the Finn is favourite to clinch his first title this year. Danny Sordo returns to Citroen, the Spaniard still chasing his first WRC victory after no fewer than 19 second places. Mads Osberg leads Malcolm Wilson's new look M Sport team, the Norwegian looking to add to his first victory last year. And all eyes are on WRC newcomers VW, entering the championship with big hopes and a big budget. Sebastian Auger is already aiming for the podium. Teammate Yari Matti Latvala is a proven winner. VW's performance sure to be one of the big talking points here. So after months of testing, it's time for the real thing. Enthusiastic crowds out in force, undeterred by the freezing temperatures. Monte Carlo, a tough test for all concerned. Studded winter tyres available if required, a few last minute checks. And it's world champion Sebastian Loeb who will lead them away. Loeb is of course the man to beat in round one. The Citroen star a six times winner on the Monte Carlo Rallys Mountains. And we are away. Alongside him, as ever, Monagas co-driver Daniel Elena's local expertise will be vital. He'll be warning of the hidden dangers ahead. The Loeb's opted for the studded winter tyre despite the dry surface here. Really tricky conditions this morning. It's no problem for the master though. Special stage one is cleared by the Citroen star in some style. I, I tried to save the tyre in the first part of the stage. And, uh, but okay, it's a very long stage. Uh, I think we have a 25 kilometer dry, so with studs tire, it's uh, moving a lot, and uh, so we destroy the tire for sure. And this is why most drivers are using the studded tires. We have a heavy base of snow at the top of the mountain. Lopes teammate Hirvonen here really struggling for grip on the snow and ice, fishtailing his way out of the village. With his illustrious teammate stepping away from the sport that made him a legend this year, 2013 could be Hirvonen's time. 
not far from the end of the stage now. As you can see, no snow again on the descent from the mountain. And Mikko's already well off Loeb's pace. We'll keep an eye on that clock. Well, that really was some effort from Hirvonen's teammate already. Mikko, 17 seconds down. And this is a sight rally fans around the world have been waiting for. The debut of the Volkswagen Polo R. New recruit, Yari Matti Latvala, is the first to drive the car in anger. And it certainly looks the part. Volkswagen are not here to make up the numbers. This is a big hitting team who have come to win. Cautious start for Latvala. He's half a minute down on Loeb's time. Oh, what a big power slide in the slush for Mads Osberg. The Norwegian knows a bit about driving on snow. He's now the number one at the rebranded Qatar M Sport World Rally Team. Yeah. It is Mads' first attempt at the daunting roads of the Monte, though. So a tough week ahead for Osberg. Joining Sebastian Auger now, and he is all over the road. Well, after a year away from the sports top level, the Frenchman clearly desperate to come back with a bang for Volkswagen. And just look at this as he charges on towards the finish line. This is looking very close to Loeb's time of 27.35.5. I tell you what, he could even beat it. Last couple of corners now. Over the bridge, he's into the flying finish. He's done it. What a drive from Ogier. History has been made. The first ever stage win for Volkswagen at the first time of trying. Incredible. Sebastian, first stage of the VW, your quickest through so far. Yeah, it's a good start, but stay calm, stay calm. It's just the first stage. 460 k to go. Yeah, it's nothing, nothing. Ogier playing it down, but that's an impressive start for VW, winning their opening stage. That's sure to turn a few heads, not least Sebastian Loeb. A good start for Danny Sordo too on his return to Citroen. He's in third place ahead of Mika Hervinen and Evgeny Novikov. So how would Sebastian Loeb respond to VW's remarkable start in true world champion style? That's how the Frenchman setting a storming time in stage two despite heavily worn studded tyres. Loeb quicker than Ogier to take the lead. Normal service quickly resumed. So a familiar look at the top of the leaderboard after the morning's two stages. Loeb sending out a quick reminder of who's the man to beat here in Monte Carlo. Almost seven seconds ahead of Ogier, the rest of the field fully 30 seconds further adrift. But no doubt about the big talking point as they headed back to the service park in Valence. That remarkable start by the WRC newcomers. No one at VW getting carried away at this early stage though. Seb, what a start. Stage one went out the first time the Polos turned a wheel in competition and you won it and you beat Sebastian Loeb next door. Yeah, it's a very good start, uh, very surprising. Uh, this morning was not easy, very difficult condition. I didn't get any split in the car, so I just start with my rhythm, not pushing too much, just try to drive uh, with a clever rhythm and uh, at the end I was really surprised. Gives the team the confidence that everybody has done a good job over winter preparing the cars. Yeah, it's more important that the cars went trouble-free, no problems with the, with the cars. And uh, the guys did what they were asked to do. So, uh, and the team stayed calm as well. So it's not a big enthusiasm there. They say, look, a stage win is nice to have, but you can't buy anything from that. So I think we stay focused and calm. Another interested observer, double world champion Carlos Sainz, fresh from competing in the Dakar Rally, heavily involved in VW's test and development program. For sure, we are we are happy, but until you don't have a, a proper dry stage or something like that, a lot at the moment it's in the tire choice. A lot is in the drivers. When the conditions are so difficult, uh, it's um, uh, it's difficult to know exactly where we are. But uh, for sure, the car is good and, and the driver is good. 
Midday service, a chance for mechanics to carry out running repairs and a swift spot of maintenance. But only 20 minutes to work on the car, so no time to hang around as the rally leader reflects on a good morning's work. We are leading, but it's really close with uh, Ogier and uh, he was faster than me in the first stage, I was faster in the second, but the uh, difference is very small compared to all the others, so uh, we will see. Refreshed and refueled, it's back to the action and stage three. A return to the mountains above Valence and what a fight we have on our hands in prospect. The master lobe against the young pretender Sebastian Ogier. There was no love lost between the two Frenchmen when they were teammates in 2011 and it seems the rivalry has resumed immediately. Conditions still treacherous. Black ice and snow everywhere, grip levels very changeable. Loeb showing incredible car control as ever. Back on the start line two minutes later, it's his teammate Mikko Hievenen. <laughs> Mikko and co-driver Jarmo Leitonen are living on the edge at times. Hirvonen 18 seconds slower than Loeb in stage three. First glimpse here of Evgeny Novikov, the Russian youngster driving for the Qatar M Sport team, is now the leading forward in fifth. And back to the fight at the front. Can Sebastian Ogier maintain his incredible pace on this first outing in the VW Polo? It is a home rally of sorts for Sebastian, and this is the same stage he won earlier. And again, Seb is flying. Let's take a moment to enjoy the ride inside this Polo R. He's not quite on the pace of Loeb this time, but second position is secure for now. Well, come the end of stage three, it's time for one of Rally Monte Carlo's unique traditions. The handing out of tasty local Tato Pom to the drivers, courtesy of a local restaurant. It's a welcome treat and a very popular feature here for more than 40 years. Very tasty, very good between the stages to eat something. You can go into the next stage with a full stomach now. Yes, yes, that's right. It's nice to see all the fans here supporting you as well. Yeah, quite a lot of Russians here. It's very nice to, to see them here. It's uh, very good uh, for the confidence. Suitably refreshed, they head next for the final stage of this opening day, a second run through Berze, where there would be an untimely sense of deja vu for Thierry Neuville. The Belgian maintaining his unfortunate record of never having completed day one of Rally Monte Carlo. Neville clipping the corner there and breaking his front suspension. His rally is about to be over already, coming to a halt barely a kilometre from the same place he was forced to retire last season. Bad luck for the Belgian. Meanwhile, following Neville on the stage, Sebastian Ogier on his way to completing a brilliant debut for VW, exceeding all expectations, surely while the stranded Neuville is already preparing to go home. All of which sees Sebastian Loeb with a huge lead at the end of the opening day, a minute and 20 seconds, remarkable even by his high standards. VW can be satisfied with their first day as a WRC team. Evgeny Novikov is the leading Ford driver in six. M Sport team leader Mads Osberg, ninth. Conditions were really, really difficult. Uh, the, the first one of the loop uh, in the morning was uh, was maybe 10 km ice. The rest was dry. The second one was nearly full snow. Second pass, it melted a bit, so it was only five km in the first one, and, and maybe 10 or 20 or 15 in the second one. But uh, still, the, the grip was changing all the time, and uh, it was it was not easy to, to push to find the, the grip to to feel the grip everywhere. It was a, it was a difficult day. In this condition, it's uh, it's really tricky, and for sure, if you push maximum, you have a very little chance to finish a rally. So <laughs> it's uh, always a compromise, and I'm I'm happy with uh, the one I find today. So the new season's underway. Sebastian Lowe confirming that at Monte Carlo, experience, friendliness, life and